<laughs> oh, we're back again. Yeah, so this is about driving. <laughs> My favorite topic of complaint. Yes. Yeah, this is a complaint. You see? But some of our videos is not complaint. No, a lot of them are we're not. Just even talking though about sometimes we're accused of complaining, but it's not. Uh, I just I just did like a demonstration off camera. Okay, we yeah. were not on camera. We just turned this camera on after our demonstration. Yes. We're traveling through this area. Actually, we're still in it because look, yeah. there's a speed limit sign. 80. Generally, first when I came here, to, let me give some background first. Yeah. Generally, when I came to the Philippines first and we got our car months later, I was saying, "What are the speed limits here? I never see speed limit signs." And what'd you say? What'd you tell me? Do you remember? Because I remember what you told me. Just say it. <laughs> she said. There's no speed limit. Go whatever you want. What I'm like, what? I, said there, I said there has to be a speed limit. You don't just go whatever you want. <laughs> so, anyway, um, and I've never hardly ever seen speed limit signs. There are some around. I've since come to learn that, you know, in more populated areas, it's 40, and highways generally 80. That's kind of like a general rule that I've come to know. But now, over the last few weeks, as of doing this recording, we're driving through one of the communities on the way to her hometown, and it's like they started up this new speed limit thing. They've, they've got a big sign acknowledging it, something about the speed limit and how you got to observe the speed limit in this little community that we're passing through right now, in fact. And they're saying, basically, watch out for the speeds and things like that. So it's really crazy. Like they start you off with 80, 80. and you go a few feet and it's like 60. You 60. go a few more feet and it's like 20. 80. Go a few more <laughs> feet literally and it's like 60 or 80 again. And I'm like, this is crazy. So Mahal, just watch. I'm going to follow the speed limit. So as soon as we hit the one, I'm doing 80 or 60, whatever it was. Then the next one right after, just literally a few feet it's down 80, the road. 80. Can you see yeah. that's 80 now, right? A few feet down the road, it's at 20. So I said, well, I'm going to go to the speed limit. And I went from 80 right down to 20. And I couldn't even get it down that slow. It was so slow. I actually yes. did 30, 30. And it was so slow. And while we did that, a guy in the motorcycle comes up, beep, honking yeah. his horn at me. Beep. And I was only down to 30. I wasn't even down to the speed limit of 20. <laughs> so yeah. it goes to show you that even if you're trying to do the right thing, <laughs> Nobody else cares. Nobody else wants to do it. And certainly it's a crazy speed yeah. limit law. Anyway, look, there's another one there. Yeah, Every few feet there's a speed limit in this one little section of town. So I tried to do it. I went 60, I went 80, and then I went 20. I said, look, I'm going to do the speed yeah. limit. And I slowed right down to 20. Look, here's another one. Yeah. Uh, no, no, that no, that was not that one. Yeah, but anyway, I went right down to yeah. 20, and I couldn't even get it down that slow. And the guy behind me, like I just said, honked his horn and went around me really mad at me because yeah. I was trying to follow the speed and so I told it's him impossible. That, don't go on 30 we're just walking <laughs> it's true you can, you can jog about yeah. what we were doing yeah, so like what is so the purpose it's so slow and boring well, what was the purpose to go from 80 to 60 to 20 yes, and then up exactly. to 60 and then it's 80 just is... for a few meters away yeah. it's just one of these things along the way that just got my goat and I, I proved the point because when I slowed down the guy behind me got really angry and mad honked his horn really loud like like and then zoomed around me while I was trying to obey the law of doing 20 yeah <sighs> it's, it's not even 20 it's 30 yeah and I couldn't even get it down so it was too slow yeah it's working it seems like you're driving in a car and you're talking to someone outside a car <laughs> jogging line. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hop in. Yeah. So that's it. Anyway. It's, yeah. It's kind of sometimes. Oh. You know, like, uh, what is the purpose? Do you, what's your opinion as a Filipina here? What was the purpose of, of that that community doing this with their signs and making a big deal? Like, they actually got a big sign posted talking about uh, the speed limit usually signs. Usually, the the speed limit is always in the school zone area. But um, yeah, people understand that school zone because even if they put a certain speed limit there, they even barricade the, the highway. So how can you speed so fast? There's a barricade in the highway. All school premises, they always do that. So yeah, even if they put 20 there, people will always stop and slow down because of the barricade. 
I guarantee you, there was, there was nobody doing 20 except me yes. trying to get down yes. to 20. Yes, yes. And I say no, don't do that <laughs> because you have cars at the back. <laughs> yeah, you're actually, you're, that's another good point. Yeah. You're actually bringing or possibly bringing more harm to you by so-called obeying that law of going down to 20. You're, you're, mm -hmm. you're possibly bringing more harm because that guy was mad. Other people will be angry. They go around you trying to speed up. Someone could be yes. trying to walk and then they're going around you. They could hit the person in front of you. Oh my goodness. It's just, you know. There has to be a little bit more logic to all of this. Yeah. Maybe they thought that, oh, it's a lady driver. He's so slow. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure he's a lot of things. <laughs> it's always like that here. If the car is slow, there's always in, uh, stickers at the back. Uh, lady driver. That was yesterday, Please be yeah? patient. Yeah. And she was saying, can we get one of these stickers? It says lady driver. Because we've seen it literally yesterday on yes. the back of the van. Lady driver, please, please be, be patient. patient. Yes. And I'm thinking, you will never see that back home. <laughs> and they even ask why. It's a discrimination of your gender. Yeah, <laughs> you're telling, you're telling, it, saying yeah. a lady driver is not as good, so you have to be more patient, right? Yeah. That's what you're saying by it. So you're not even. I don't yeah. think you're even allowed to have something like that back home. No, we have, we have like that here because um, people notice, like, if it's a lady driver, we are more uh, cautious. Like, cautious. Yes, uh, slow. Yeah. Be more cautious. That's exactly. Yeah. yeah, that's our point. Too. Why, why they put lady driver at the back? We ladies are more cautious in the road. Yeah, I got no no problem with it. I'm just saying, like that's we seen it yesterday in the van. I'm, I'm just saying, I don't think you'll ever see that. Yeah, back because at home. I always told him, encourage him. Can we put that? Like, can we buy stickers to put that? Like. And no, I'm driving no, no. most of the time. <laughs> she can drive whenever she wants, but I'm driving most of the time. Yeah. So I'll be getting out of the car most of the time. Lady driver, slow down. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Because even me, when I uh, were in the, especially in the in the downtown area, and he said that, oh, what is so slow? Like, I guess it's me. <laughs> it's like me. I guess it's a lady. We always say that. I'm always say that. If, Especially um, if there's a vehicle in front of us which is slower, I say, I guess it's a lady driver. Yeah. Uh, well, we're passing by the solar farm here, I think. Yes. Oh, watch out. There's a solar farm here in the Philippines, by the way, down in Mindanao. But we always have brownouts. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know, maybe uh, the sun gets blocked by something. Yeah. <laughs> What's the point Just of the like, solar farm? Oh my goodness, like. Um, this this month is really really frustrating. Our electricity sometimes will um, cut off 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah. That's a whole other thing you gotta deal with here. Is electricity, they call it brownouts. We call it blackouts back home. Yes, uh, it doesn't make sense. Why oh, it's brown? It's totally black. <laughs> yeah, brownout is when uh, you're distributing you know, distributing the power so they they schedule it off in one place so that another place can have it. That's that's an actual brownout. But blackout is when you just lose your power, right? Which yeah. seems like that's what's happening here is an actual blackout, I think. Yeah. Well, I guess it, it calls brownout because they're just trying to clean the area, to cut off trees. Yeah, it just, you know. It happens quite frequently. Yeah. <laughs> Because uh, where you are. twice already it happens that there is a burn something in the electric post. Wires. Yes, for the wirings, and it affects our internet. Which yeah. is another point. <laughs> because <laughs> the internet, they don't have own pool. So we lost our internet for probably two or three days if you yes. add up the total. But you think they subtract the money we owe them for all those missing days of internet? No, you still have to pay for the full amount. Like, does that seem fair to anybody? <laughs> you take away days of actual product from you and they don't reduce your price any or nor give you a discount. It happens in your country? once they are already well, I don't think it really goes down in our country not really maybe maybe Good once in a while for a storm or you know yeah. something
some things it could it could possibly go down but no it's not very common but here it's pretty common that's my point and for the times that it goes down they don't try to even reimburse you anything or discount you or nothing and they're basically taking your service away yeah it should be like a reimbursement for okay yeah a reimbursement right a discount for discount sure discount for yeah. the next payment but they don't do that yeah. but electricity they do that well, that's understandable because you're not using it. When the electricity goes out, you're not using it. So they can't charge you for it, right? Because you're not using it. The power's out. But with the internet, the internet is out. You can't use it because the internet is out. But they're still going to charge you. Yes. See? That doesn't make sense to me. Like when it happens regularly. I understand once in a while, like even back home, once in a while. You can understand that. But this is regular, fairly regular. I guess these are some of our griefs, grieving things, <laughs> That's a complaint. grievous things. Yeah, we really don't complain much, even though some people say we do. We're just we really don't. saying something. That's a complaint. Yeah. So guys, don't forget to visit our website, beautifulpeoplelab.com, and God bless everyone. God bless you.